If you're anything like me, you are always looking for the roadmap to success and you want it now. And you want to be the improved version of yourself by the end of 2024, totally getcha, and you really want to be prepared to succeed in 2025. But don't worry about it, I got you. My name is Jay Robertson, in today's video, I'm going to present you with three audiobooks that are currently changing my life and that are totally going to change yours too. Atomic Habits. I've been talking a lot about Atomic Habits because Atomic Habits is one of those books that has changed my life. Last year, came home from Dallas, super, super tired. My skin sucked. My body was not feeling good. I had deficiencies. Everything was bad. But I read Atomic Habits and I implemented it. Now I drink water. I survive on less caffeine. I go to bed early. I get up early. I work out. It has literally changed the way I operate on a day-to-day -day basis and that has given me results. So the first thing you gotta do is to get Atomic Habits because the day-to-day -day life and your operations and your habits is the foundation we're building for everything. Obviously, thinking big is great. Having a better view of the world, great. Having a step-by-step -step plan for your business, for your goals, amazing, but everything comes down to what you're actually doing in the moment, which is also talked about in the other books, but Atomic Habits just really breaks it down, and I think that before you even move on to those other books, you should absolutely fully read Atomic Habits, take notes, read it two, three times if you can. That's what I did. Take notes and see how you can implement each thing into your life. So you should look at what are your goals and to reach those goals, which good habits you need to foster, which bad habits you need to kick. Let me be the first to tell you that when you're trying to do something really big, like building a business, building a relationship, starting law school. What, like it's hard? That is not the time to start changing all the small aspects of your life around, like when you get up, what you eat, when you work out. When you're in those periods, you need to be able to focus on those things. And that's why getting yourself to a much healthier version of yourself as soon as possible, kicking the worst habits and building the most important ones will so help you further along when you are going after the bigger goals unless your new habits are solid and you're in a period of sort of stillness going after gigantic things trust me you're gonna fall back into bad habits that's why it's so important to really really focus on this stuff i spent a long time just you know drinking water working out going to bed getting up doing these healthy things and really getting them down before I could go like, okay, now I'm just gonna stream, 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 stream. If I went straight to like just streaming every day, basically, I would have just been drinking only energy drinks and going to bed at like 2 a.m. Cause it's just so easy to fall into bad habits unless your new habits are so cemented. Whenever you're stressed, whenever you're working more, even now I kicked my energy habit for a little bit and I had to go back to working more and it's like, boom, I'm back in the energy drinks, you know? If I had a moment of stillness, for sure it would have helped. Focus on building a new and better routine and that routine is gonna sustain you throughout your success. So read Atomic Habits, figure out what you wanna keep, what you wanna kick, what you wanna gain and build a super, super solid rock star routine that the version of you that has a career you want, has a relationship you want, has all of this, can thrive in. Dan, Mark Manson, the subtle art of not giving an F. Don't demonetize me YouTube, I said F. The reason why I think reading this book is so important is because a lot of the time we just think about improving ourselves and we wanna do well, but not often enough do we stop to think, wait, do I really, really want this? Do I actually care about like this thing? Or does society want me to do it? And I always say this, that the best way to approach any given season is to not have too many goals. And Mark Manson really helped me figure out, okay, what goals are real? Like I actually care about them and I'm going for them. And what goals do I put on this list? Because I feel like I have to. It's a sort of brutal book that helps you get very real with yourself and one thing i really took from this book is that no matter what you do in life you're going to have problems there's no way in hell you are going to eliminate problems and pain from your life so mark manson says instead of choosing the amazing parts of life you want to live like oh having freedom having money stepping mai tais on the beach what is a mai tai actually is it like coconut? Anyways, instead of doing that, 
focus on what problems can you actually live with. I talk about this a lot when it comes to relationships because I know there's certain like bad qualities I can totally deal with and certain bad qualities that I'm like, no, thank you. That's fine. You, someone else can do that. And it's the same with jobs, for example. Some people choose to have jobs that are literally 9 to 5 so that when they go home, they can relax, even though they might not like the job so much. Other people choose jobs where they work 80 hours a week because even though they're super, super tired, they love their job. Whether you're doing the boring 9 to 5 or the stressful 9 to whatever that is, you're going to have problems and you're going to have pain. So when you're thinking about the things you want, don't just think about the good things, think about the bad things and think, which bad things can I live with? Which problems are sort of fun to me? For example, like I actually, I love working overtime you know i'm totally fine with overtime work i am fine with having to miss out on social events some people aren't i totally am however i am not fine with doing the same thing every day like that's one of the big issue i have with a job or i'm not fine with a supervisor looking over my shoulder we all have different problems that we can deal with better so choosing our problems in life i thought that was brilliant now these are both game changers. Atomic Habits is a game changer because he doesn't just say, hey, you should totally do this, this, and that because that is healthy. But he says like, hey, here are very realistic ways to build these habits. They work. Here's the science, here are real life examples, and they do work. Because if you can get meat to drink water, you're a genius. So I learned of getting an F revolutionary too. It brings stoicism into the modern world without being douchey. Then, the 12 week year. The 12 week year is something I used to think was like really overhyped and like from like those productivity people that have toxic positivity, which I'm not a fan of, but I've been living on a 12 week year now and I love it. You get so much more done, but you don't feel tired. You feel exhilarated. Basically, the reasoning behind doing a 12 week year, which is like instead of planning annually, plan by 12 weeks at a time. It's like annual thinking isn't that great because A, if you set a New Year's resolution in January and the goalpost is December, first of all, you feel a little like, oh, that's such a long time. That means everything's going to take a long time before I see these results. Not only is it not that motivating, but also you will just put it off because you're like, oh, well, I got 12 months. That's like forever. And it is forever. And that's the problem. And like they explain in the book come september october november december all of a sudden all these companies all these people are so productive and it's like you could have been that productive all along and gotten these insane results you know and if you do the 12 week year you will keep up that productivity in a way where again you won't be tired but you'll just be more productive because you can focus on what's important and it's not just the fact that like the goalpost is so far away it's the fact that like we Time and time again, see that we actually have no idea what's happening in five months, especially not in 12 months. Honestly, I used to think that I tried to plan everything. And then especially after COVID, I was like, I actually don't know what my life is going to look like in six months. And trying to predict that is holding back your productivity because you're writing a plan for a world that might not be the way you thought it was. And if you plan too far ahead, you'll sort of miss a lot of opportunities that are opening up for you because you think oh that was some part of the plan that i saw 10 months ago so instead of a 12 month year we're doing a 12 week year and with that we can also focus on fewer goals at a time focus more intensely and that's again why i said that you need to do atomic habits first because then you have your basic routine so you have the upkeep with yourself and then you can focus on okay what are the main goals i want to hit in this year in this 12 week year and when you see it like that, you can lay it out week by week and actually make it so much more realistic and focused. And it's just, I don't know how to explain it, but I think it makes sense that you do, that you do see more results when you're focusing on the next 12 weeks and the next 12 months because the planning is so much more accurate, basically. It's just something you can actually foresee so you can really, really plan out your weeks in a way that makes sense, builds on each other and just boom 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 goals reached you know so start this process now and 2025 is going to be amazing for all of us we are becoming the best versions of ourselves in 2024 and imagine what those best versions are going to be in 2025 and how we're going to propel forward when we have all of these systems in place to dominate and succeed so excited for you 
take care and I will see you in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram because I'm trying to build that up. It's part of my 12 week year.